morning i'm kelly if you new to my channel if you not new what's good what's going on okay so y'all today is friday first and foremost and i'm up and up it is caught 8 49 in the morning it ain't even sitting right but y'all got a dentist appointment today and it's like the little six month clean in my i don't know why i made this appointment for nine o'clock i just feel like when it comes to appointments i always like to get in early just so i could like have the rest of the day to do what i'm gonna do but for the rest of the day, after I get this little clean in, I plan on going to the mall. Because y'all know we haven't been to the mall in I don't know how many months. Like, y'all know Fridays, my routine was to literally wake up, either like go to the gym or something, and then directly to the mall after that. Okay, like the mall was on the schedule at some some point of the Friday. You know what I'm saying? We haven't done that. So today I'm going to go just to go. I don't really have anything like in mind to get. But while I'm in there, I do think I want to try to find something pink at least because I want to go see the Barbie movie tonight. Well, I, not I want to go. I am. I bought me a ticket to go see the Barbie movie tonight. And I don't know. I just kind of want to wear pink. Like, you know, I'm 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 an extra girl these days. So I think it'll be cute. And it's like, it's I'm going on a solo date. So I'm just like, girl, just to make the most of it, like, why not let's get cute it's friday we ain't gotta go to work we ain't gotta do this we ain't gotta do that like let's make it do what it do y'all hold on hold on i got all this trash girl wait let me tell y'all <laughs> let me tell y'all i didn't have the cleaning from hell from hell oh wow Y'all, and I'm trying my best not to curse because I, I on my last, like, three vlogs, I was editing. I'm like, I'm cursing so much, so I'm going to try my best. Oh! Okay, y'all, so first and foremost, I didn't went in there for a six-month cleaning. Mind you, that's a little scrape and then the polishing. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all. Okay, so this lady is in my mouth. My y'all, she rough. She's rough from, from the jump. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I understand some some dentists, they, they be a little rough. It is, you know, I just got to go with the flow or whatever. Because I'm not, she just, she, she just trying to do what she, what she doing. So, you know, she get in the, why did this lady scrape my lip? Scrape my lip, y'all. When I tell y'all it, like, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like a big old scrape to where, like, you know, I'm just bleeding or something like that. It wasn't like that. But she scraped my lip to the point where it's like a little, you can see it. And I tasted the blood. And I'm like, oh, wait. Like, I'm literally, you know, if, if something wrong, put your hand up. So I'm like, wait. I'm like, I think you scraped my lip. She was like, no, I didn't. How you how you about to tell me you didn't scrape my lip? I I you in my mouth? Like what are you talking about? Like that right there really pissed me off. Because first and foremost, what you're not supposed to do is tell like you discrediting what I'm telling you. Like so that really made me uncomfortable. That means you about to really be in my mouth doing whatever. So I'm like nah, you you scrape my mouth. Like I'm like don't don't discredit. I literally told her I'm like don't discredit what I'm saying. Then she gonna say oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I wasn't trying to discredit you. I just didn't think that I did it. I. I told you you did it. What, what you mean? So, girl, that was that. Then, um, oh, after that, another, I guess, like, a assistant came in. He, like, the head assistant or whatever. So, I guess he, um, she was like, well, with me scraping deep in your gums, it might be a little bit of blood, and that's probably what you tasted. I'm like, that is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Cool. But what I'm telling you is still valid. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's steady discrediting what I'm saying about her scraping my lip. So I'm like, you know what? She was like, are you are you fine? Are you fine? Like, I'm cool. Like, I'm cool. I, just, I was like, I'm cool. Just be gentle. That's literally all I told her. She was like, okay. And then she had tried to give me a mirror. So she was like, do you want to watch while I do it? No. Because, see, now I feel like you being petty. I'm not finna sit here and watch you in my mouth. Like, it's not even that deep. Like, girl, do your job. Just be gentle. I'm not finna sit here and monitor you. I don't want to I don't want to see that because then I'm really going to be nitpicky about what you doing in my mouth so i'm like no i'm not i don't need no mirror like just do i'm like just do your job just be gentle that's literally what i told her then she gonna look at the assistant and say you know what i don't i don't think we need to do this she was like let's just call it off let's just call it off <laughs> y'all it took everything in me i said like i'm literally sitting there because i already done told her to proceed i'm like i'm just trying to get this done like i'm not, i don't have time to reschedule for a cleaning that i'm already here for you know what i'm saying i'm not doing it so 
I literally like I'm laid back in the chair while she trying to walk off. I said, "Oh wow, that's unprofessional." So she come back trying to um say like, "Okay, okay, we can do it, we can do it." I said, "Girl, no." I'm like, I literally at that point. See now, nah, y'all. I, I really I know I'm one to go off, y'all, and I act a fool. Don't get me wrong. I will show my ass. I will, but only when I feel disrespected. So she's steady trying to tell me to just sit back down, and she's 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 just gonna move forward with the procedure or whatever. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I don't even want you in my mouth at this point because you're really making me uncomfortable. And then I didn't walk to the front. I'm like, y'all can go ahead because I had to pay sixty dollars. I was like, y'all can go ahead and give me a refund. Like I'm not playing. So she's running up behind me. She don't came to the front desk telling the uh, receptionist like. No, guys, please don't. No, no. I just really need to talk to her. Let me talk to her. Let me pull her to the side. And she was like, can I just, can I please talk to you? Girl, it's, ooh, I really wanted to say no, but I, on the other side of things, I really needed to get the cleaning done, bro. I done drove 30 minutes up here to get this cleaning done. You know what I'm saying? I didn't wake up early in the morning for no reason. I hope y'all can hear me because I'm on the highway. So I didn't let her talk to me. And she gonna apologize about the whole lip part and saying that she should have just acknowledged it instead of, you know, going off going off of what she thought she did or didn't do then she tried to then the girl then she gonna try to say she's been in the situation before where she was like everything was all calm cool and collected with this one girl then this one girl had got in her face and tried to fight her so she just didn't want to repeat of that i'm like ma'am you don't even know me i'm like first and foremost i'm not gonna do all of that behind no cleaning like just acknowledge what i'm telling you give me a heads up on what you what you got going on if you're gonna be a little rough let me know I'm, i gotta get a little rough right here you know what i'm saying like just be a professional in your profession you know what i'm saying like that right there really rough oh girl like that the cleaning from hell okay but don't get me wrong after we had that whole little conversation i still kind of didn't want to let her in my mouth again but after we did that she was gentle as hell all of a sudden gentle very gentle i don't know if she didn't want to be at work or something or what in the beginning but very gentle very much letting me know okay i'm going to this side she was kind of being a little extra but she was letting me know she was like i'm getting a little deep over here so you you know you might you might feel a little you know a little something i'm like all right cool after like er after that everything was fine and then um i was telling her about my tooth because i told y'all on my last vlog or was it the, la the last week vlog that i be feeling like some sensitivity where they had to put that crown in and she told me that i shouldn't feel nothing whatsoever so she thinks that they didn't put it on like all the way like it has to be some type of opening in order for me to still be feeling something so she told me that like i think it's like a warranty on it or something so i have to make an appointment for them to check out this crown and basically i guess redo it that's probably what they're gonna have to do just to make sure it's like all closed up i don't want to go through that again like I, I don't think they gotta go through like the whole shaving down process again but like when they put the crown on like it was so sensitive like oh i don't want to go through that but i gotta go ahead and get that did okay because i ain't got time y'all already know that tooth was giving me problems for months and they kept trying to do filling this whole time i think i needed a crown to begin with like girl it was a mess that's a way to start my day but you know what it ended on a good note and i'ma just leave it at that i'm not gonna you know i'm not even gonna let that ruin the rest of my day because i got my cleaning <laughs> and that's that on that that's that on that Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out if I want to go back home and eat and then go to the mall because honestly, if I don't, I'm going to be tempted to eat out. And I told myself I wasn't doing it because y'all saw all them groceries that I had they made on the last vlog, girl, okay? I'm not trying to spend no money on outside food because I already didn't, I didn't, I didn't rake my house up. What's up? Anyways, we're about to go ahead and eat us a little breakfast. I think I'm going to eat some French toast. I was telling y'all about these French toast. These Kroger brand French Kroger. French toast type too. These are the best French toast I've had like in a long, 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 long time. I don't even know why I thought I was about to go directly to the mall after my appointment. It's still 10 o'clock. Like, I'm not going to the mall. They don't open till 11. So I guess I could be productive. Oh my goodness, have y'all been watching Insecure? Like, I was, I was just thought about me being productive, but then I thought about, dang, I really want to like sit on the sofa and watch Insecure because I was watching it yesterday. Y'all, when I say that show hit a little bit different in your late 20s, because y'all know she was 28. Her character was 28 on the show. When I tell y'all, 
a lot of that stuff hitting a little different because like I can relate on a lot of different levels, okay? And it's just like, dang, it's crazy. Life really be out here life in and relationships really be out here like relationship and like friendships and regular like relationships like they be going downhill sometimes and sometimes there's really nothing you can do about it like you literally just have to sit in it sometimes both people need time to think and come to their senses because everybody got different perspectives it's a lot but all of that to say like it's such a good show like she did a great job at portraying like what your late 20s like what your life be like in that time it's really crazy it's like a one that I love me some Issa. That's one reason I'm going to see that Barbie movie. Ooh, and speaking of that, y'all know I said I wanted to buy something from the mall um, that was pink, but I forgot I still got that birthday outfit that I had, but that I had one for my birthday to the bowling alley girl, so I might wear that. Is that it might be too much, but I'm going to just zip the jacket up because y'all know it's a, it's a little bathing suit looking top, a skirt, and a jacket, but I'm going to zip the jacket up. Then I got some pink platform sandals. That's going to eat the girls up right there. If if it's not it's not the same pink, but it don't matter. Or right, wait, it might matter. I don't know. It's giving like I'm going to see the Barbie movie. Boo! I might do a get ready with me. I have been doing a um. Oh, that reminds me. I have been doing a spend a day with me real. So I need to finish doing that because I told y'all I want to start like just getting content out, like just regular everyday content. So I'm about to go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna come back. We're probably gonna do a little montage at the mall. Y'all know how it be. Okay, so I decided to um just come to Atlantic Station because y'all the where I'm going to see the movie at is literally right there by the mall. So it wouldn't have made no sense for me to literally go all the way on that side of town, go to the mall, go all the way back home, get ready, then go all the way back on that side of town when I could have just came to Atlantic Station, which is not that far from me, and get everything I need to get. So I done made me a little list of everything I need to get. I also, while I'm looking for something pink, it's not like a must. I'm just going to see if I can find something. But I also need to get a birthday gift for somebody. And I need to get me some new setting powder. Because, y'all, yeah, I filmed a, um, what the fuck? Why can't I go up these steps? Anyways, what I was saying was I had did a makeup video. And in the video, like, after I did, like, it was going well until I did that damn setting powder. So, I need a new setting powder because... <clears throat> I almost didn't want to post a video, but I'm going to post it. Now I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I could go that way, but I might as well park over there, too. Look at Stormy, y'all. She's so cute. She dirty as hell. Y'all really can't tell from that angle. Damn, now I'm about to get in this car. I don't feel like driving back around. Where else can... Oh, it's an elevator right there. Let me just go to the elevator, girl, instead of being lazy. But yeah, we in Atlantic Station. Let's see what we can get our fingers on. I don't want A good amount of stuff the shit that I shouldn't have bought all these damn well I only got three bags but still just guess how much I spent these three bags just guess oh damn I gotta go under the uh hold on okay yeah y'all they got all the damn exits closed off to get down back to the bottom so I didn't walk all the way from across the damn parking lot to get to my damn car I'm hot and sweating I'm hungry. I'm ready to get back home and see what I'm about to eat. But before I do that, I gotta go make a stop at Target because I need some dishwashing liquid and I need some soap powder for my clothes. Cause um, I be running out. And then, what else? Oh, I need to get a birthday card. Cause I couldn't find nothing as far as the gifts goes. I was gonna try to get her like some cute sandals or something. She a, she a older lady. I was gonna try to get some cute sandals, but they didn't have any in uh, Forever 21 or H&M. So, to Target we go. Yeah, let me put this in the trunk, actually. <sighs> oh my gosh. 
Y'all, and tell me why. I wonder if I can pull this this down. <laughs> tell me why my damn tripod keep breaking. So while I'm walking around in uh, Forever 21, the tripod, didn't, one of the pieces that fell off, somebody had to give it back to me. I can't. I got to get a new tripod, like a good one. Y'all know I got that white one recently, but that one is horrible. I don't even know why I got it. I should have left that motherfucker right where it was at, okay? I ain't got no good angles. I'm going to come back when I get home, y'all. I'm tired and hot, okay? Tripod all messed up, y'all. I tried to put, like, glue and everything. Nothing is keeping it in there, so I'm really going to have to just get another one. But let's go ahead and get into all the stuff that I ended up buying today. I spent, what, I only spent, like, 30 some dollars. Um... I got somebody a gift from Sephora, but I got myself some setting powder. I was telling y'all that I needed some. And I keep seeing the one size, like everybody talking about it. I did want to try to get one that was like more close to my skin color, but they didn't have it in stock. So I just got the regular translucent one. I hope that this works and don't be giving me that like ghosty kind of feel. We went to Bath & Body Works. I had a Bath & Body Works um, gift card for my birthday. Which was all the way in March. I never used it because, like, I was planning on moving and blah, blah, blah. But y'all know we ain't doing that no more. So, these are the two that I like to get. These are the only two that I get all the time. It's Gingham and Rosewater and Ivy. And I also get the Rosewater and Ivy candles. That's my go-to. So, I got three Rosewater and Ivy and two Gingham. I think I'm going to go ahead and do Rosewater and Ivy right now because that's my vibe. I haven't had plugins in here in a minute. I just been lighting candles. Okay, let's get into all the stuff that I got from uh, Forever 21. I did make a TikTok. It should be up before this video. So, all the details, not even the details. Well, I might put the details in there. All the details going to be on the TikTok, all of that. So, don't be asking me where I get it from because I got it from here. Okay? Okay. I, I saw this, um, so I saw this cute little workout set. But I think I'm going to also wear this like a chill set. It looked like, um, what's that material? That little reflective material. That's this. This the top, and then these are the bottoms. I'm definitely about to get back into working out, child, because, yeah. I've been saying that for the past couple of hours, but I'm really serious, though. I'm working my way up to it, y'all. Um, I got this little one piece, because I just need stuff to throw on. Like, today, I didn't really have nothing to wear, but what I got on, so I just needed something that was, like, summer appropriate, and it's really cute. I'm going to wear that in the fall, too, because it's olive green. And then, lastly... I ended up getting this little top. It came with some bottoms, but the bottoms really wasn't that cute to me. But the top is so freaking cute. It's like a little drawstring, little kind of moment. I don't even know, but I'm gonna put that together. Probably with like some. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna eat. I just know it's gonna eat. So I got that. And with a, oh, I went to Target. I had needed some soap powder or like, which I call it. I don't know, stuff to wash my clothes with. This ain't technically soap powder because I don't use soap powder. I only use liquid, but I still co consider it to be soap powder. And y'all, this is my favorite one to get. The Gain Fresh and Comfy. It smells so good. It will have your clothes smelling good as fuck. Yep. This is my favorite one. Oh, no, it's Cloud Escape. But it, it is touch and comfy, but it's Cloud Escape. Like, that's the scent. Then I needed some dishwashing liquid, so I just went back to Dawn. I haven't used Dawn in a long time. I was using palm olive, but I noticed that that's starting to, like, my Tupperware is starting to taste like it. When I wash my dish the dishes with that, so I'm like, I can't keep doing this. So I got Dawn. But I also got some Cascade pods for the dishwasher, y'all. I don't even know if I told y'all, but I attempted to use my dishwasher, like, last week. And I literally only had, like, two things in there just to see if it worked. Because I've never used it, y'all, since I've been living here. And I've been living here almost over three years at this point. So, I'm going to try to use that. But I I'm, I might revert back to my old way. So, I just got both. That's the reason I got both. And then, last but not least, I ended up getting a birthday card for Linda. Because I told y'all I'm going to a birthday dinner tonight. So, I just got her this cute little card. Y'all, I think Target be having the cutest cards. Like, this is so freaking cute. I'm going to put her a little money in it. A little card game money because girl we love to play cards and it's just like yeah my, i don't know i don't know what the girl what she gonna do with the money you know what i'm saying but yeah so that's everything that i ended up getting y'all it is 144 my movie start at 345 which means i need to start getting ready like now <laughs> so i'm about to go ahead and try to eat something real fast and then I'm going to just come back to y'all once I'm ready. I'm going to do a get ready with me on TikTok. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are in the car. It's giving pink Barbie B. Y'all know I'm trying to stop cursing. So, yeah. 
But y'all, the outfit I had in mind for me to wear at first, no. It was not giving going to the movies. It was giving very much going to the club. Hoochie mama, I was not trying to be outside, thinking like that. And then I got to go somewhere after that because I'm not going back home. So I'm like, no, we got to switch it up. So I ended up putting some jeans on. Make sure y'all go follow my TikTok to see, like, all of my gear. Oop. To see all the Get Ready With Me content because, like, I think I'm just going to... I mean, I've been doing that, but, like, I'm not even going to be getting ready on here no more. Like, it's strictly going to be over there. So make sure y'all go follow. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. Whenever I'm going up a hill, like, the way my tripod be set up... It's not a car tripod, so I be having the legs kind of, like, bent to sit up here. And, like, whenever I'm going uphill, it just, you know... Yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. But your girl looking good, smelling good today. Y'all got on a uh, Paco Rabanne, well, Fame by Paco Rabanne. It smells so freaking good. I gotta stay in the habit of switching out my perfumes because I be wearing one and be stuck on it and I be forgetting like how much heat I really got in the vault. So I gotta run this one back. Like I'm probably gonna wear this one for this whole weekend because it smells so good. Like it's that grown woman. Her. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's so much like traffic today too. I don't even know why I didn't leave the house sooner. Like, the GPS telling me I'm going to get there at 3.42. My movie started at 3.45. Uh, but y'all got to think, like, going to the battery, bro. I got to find parking all that. I mean, you know, previews and stuff. But, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to be in my seat and order me a drink. Because I'm definitely about to drink a little drinky drink. I don't know. I might get a drink or two. I already ate, so I didn't have to order no food at these movies. Because, girl, they be tech. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> but I was saying the movies be taxing, girl. Like, they be wanting $20 for chicken tenders. So, I'm probably just gonna, um, get a drink. That's it. And maybe some candy. Because, do they ever got... They got candy, though. They do, I think. So, yeah, that's all I'm gonna end up getting, child. Let me go and put this camera away. Because it's getting dangerous. <laughs> So the movie is over. We back in the car. And I will I'ma just go ahead and rate the movie like a strong seven out of ten. I'm not gonna tell y'all like I'm not gonna give y'all the plot or whatever because the movie did just come out. And y'all I'm thinking today is the premiere. Why did they been playing that movie for like two, three days already? Like They've already been playing it in other theaters. I do know, like, select theaters do be having, like, early movie dates. But so many people have seen the movie already, like, that I've seen on social media or whatever. But, yeah, y'all, the movie wasn't that good. I'm not going to lie. Like, I could have went without seeing it. <sighs> but I also say I'm not a Barbie girl. But it wasn't even that. It was really just the plot. Like, the plot wasn't there or whatever but one thing i will say is i like the message of it so make sure y'all go see the movie it has a great message i wouldn't say it's like super kid friendly like my sister probably would be bored as hell watching it because yeah um and then i didn't know it's crazy because growing up like yeah i had barbies but like i didn't have as many barbies as there were like i didn't know there was so many different barbies like i knew there was like a doctor space girl like you know like all of that not space girl astronaut but i never you know what i'm saying like i never really knew the extent of how far they went y'all it's so many barbies that i had no clue about and they basically like show all the discontinued barbies at the end of the, of the movie and i was like wow it was so many of them but honestly though barbie is not a movie for like the young kids now like barbie was definitely a us thing like even before my time because i'm 26 so hold on yeah, like, Barbie was definitely, like, my age and, and up. Like, the girls younger than me, shit, because when I was coming up, Barbie was disappearing. It was giving brats when, for my time. Like, that's why I say, like, I'm a brats girl. But I still love me some Barbie. I still had Barbies. I still did, like, the little Barbie games and all of that. So, I don't know. It was good. They had, like, a cute little setup, y'all. They took me some pictures. I don't know if I'm going to post them or not because the girls who was taking my pictures, like, they did good. But you could tell, like, they don't be in it. You know, I be in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying to 
get the content but the pictures was cute enough i'm, I'm gonna say that but it was a cute little self day i had a mojito the mojito was kind of nasty i ain't gonna lie it was nasty i don't even know what kind of liquor they used but it gave cheap well liquor and it kind of had my hair hurting a little bit so i just took an excedrin like right at the end of the movie so it should kick in by the time i get where i'm going y'all gotta drive a whole hour away for this damn dinner party which is at my cousin them house it's so crazy y'all because we be having stuff planned but like it be at the house you know what i'm saying like it's a dinner party but it's at the house so yeah we probably about to get drunk get a little lit turn up y'all already know the family vibes i may or may not vlog because if you're not new here then you already know the vibes y'all we literally gonna be listening to loud ass music i'm not gonna be talking and we're gonna be drinking taking shots um not only is it um linda birthday but it's also toya and brock anniversary so like we just ain't no telling where the night about to take us girl let me put my gps in and why the sky look like it's about to fall down oh the rain really know it could kill a bitch vibe oh the rain really knows it can kill a girl vibe you know what i'm saying like uh okay let me put the put this in the gps and then also y'all music music i still ain't i still have not made that playlist for y'all i'm i need to get on it i'm really slacking out here okay we got in a damn 52 minutes away Whew. okay but yeah what y'all been listening to i've been listening to rallo a lot and I always knew Rallo was good, but I never really listened to him for real, for real up until this most recent album. Cause baby, that that's a that's a play it through album. That thing is really good. I was I've been listening to Don Tolliver, and I've been on him, um, but I just like his older music more than the newer stuff. So I'm trying to like catch up on the new stuff and like learn the songs. But it's a couple on there that I like. Um, yeah, I know I've been running party next door down the drain. Like that resentment, that's my song. I'm about to listen to that right now, right now. And I'm about to just vibe out. Do y'all want a car concert? I don't know if I can. I can't really give y'all a car concert though, cause the songs that I want to hear, I don't really know them like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I like to, you know, while I'm driving, I like to be in my mood. In my mode. Hold on. That little drink got me a little lightheaded or something. Wonder where you been? Who you been with? Wonder. I need to sign this car. Is that thunder? Oh. Oh. oh no, are they cursing their mamas in Spain? Oh no, are they cursing their mamas in Spain? <laughs> I know y'all probably think that reference is really crazy. Like, who thinks of that? But, like, every time I hear somebody say, oh no, my mind goes straight to that. Like, I don't know why. But maybe because Love and Basketball was one of my favorite all, all time movies. Like, I could watch that movie. That and Baby Boy, I could watch that so many times, back to back to back, and not be tired of them. I know every word in both of the movies. But, girl said, oh no, are they cursing their mamas in Spain? <laughs> girl was shook, bitch. <laughs> Swing this motherfucker. Oh my goodness, though, y'all, for real, it really look like the sky about to fall, girl. Like, it's about to jazz. It's about to come down. Yeah. We about to be in the house for sure. I'm hungry as hell. I made it a point for me not to eat nothing at that um, movies though because I know they about to have food over here and I'm about to fuck it up, okay? I'm so hungry. And the food at that movie theater not even that good. The drink wasn't that good. I already told y'all that. But like, mm-mm. It, it's high as hell for no reason. But I guess it's like, it's just the experience. I really wanted to go to iPick, but they ain't had no damn times available. So I couldn't go there. But the next movie I see, I'm going to iPick. I want to see Insidious, but I'm really scared of Insidious. Like, y'all, the last Insidious that I watched, I was having nightmares for three days straight. I was scared as fuck for like two months of the dark. I, mm -mm. Scary movies really don't hit the same for me. Scary movies used to be like my favorite genre of movies, but now I am scared. Like that, that one movie, I, I, I don't know. Like after I watched that movie, like I ain't been the same. I be scared as hell, bitch. And then y'all know at the end of it, it's just, it be like, uh, demonic spirits are real. This is real. Like, <sighs> Bitch, I don't even want to think about that, okay? Because, bitch, I be scared in real life. You know what I'm saying? I be praying, praying. <laughs> like, God, keep them demons away from me. Because that shit really is scary, though, for real. So, I don't know if I could really go see a scary movie by myself. Maybe if I could go see with my friends, I could do it. And it got to be in the daytime. I got to go see a matinee. Because, no, ma'am. 
no ma'am me going to see that shit at night by myself girl i'm gonna be in this car steady looking in the rear view thinking somebody's sitting in the back seat looking at my ass mm -mm -mm. nope oh my god it's so much traffic why is it traffic it's 607 oh well it is friday it's a work day i be forgetting that too like just because i don't work on fridays we just don't mean everybody else don't work on fridays everybody is definitely on their way home from work right now and that's why i'm in traffic <sighs> let me put my music on i'm talking too fucking much oh I have to like I have to I have to get this cursing on a leash. I ha I have to because it's not okay. It's not ladylike and it's not okay, but it just adds seasoning to the sentence. That sounds stupid, but I'm I'm, I'm I can't let you let you know. Wow, he really ate that song up. Like, I'm not gonna cap anything with Yachty on it really go the fuck up. Like, Yachty, he know what he be doing in the studio. Like, I'm not gonna cap everything with Yachty goes. Girl, wait! I thought something had to happen to my car, y'all. Why, why is my car telling me correct the tire pressure, but all of the numbers is is is, is in a good rating? I'm, what is, I, I ain't got time, not today, nope. Y'all remember what we, what we went through last time with these tires and we're not, going, we're not doing it that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Y'all, while I'm just sitting in the car, it is 9.22. <laughs> Cause like, all the parking was gone last night. So I had to park like on a higher flow. So I'm like, let me go move my car and get my camera. Cause I left the camera in here and I need to edit. So I'm like, let me, let me know. I'm just sitting here with the door open. Literally, I'm just sitting here. It just feels so good. Like, I don't want to move. I'm just sitting here. And I was watching TikToks. I need to, <laughs> I need to take my ass in the house. I need to wash my face, brush my teeth, and get, get this day started, okay? <sighs> I really hungry. I need to make me some breakfast. It just feels so good to have food in my house. Like, I don't even got to think about where I'm about to go. Like, I got food at home. Look at my lashes, y'all. I feel like I'm just really surprised that they still look like this. But that is what getting mega volume does. Like, I was really messing up getting, like, with speed. Because they was messed up in a week. So I'm definitely might, you know stick with these i need to go get a feeling i wonder if like by friday that's gonna be like not feeling consider feeling hopefully nothing don't fall out by then i don't know yeah i'm um probably just gonna continue to sit here for another five minutes um uh, i'll see you guys later child it is hours later okay i ain't been doing nothing but laying around and watching Insecure, okay? Insecure got me in the choke heart right now. Y'all can hear it in the background. TV loud as hell, really. Not on deal. But I done made me a little pizza to eat for lunch until I get ready to go. I was gonna do my hair today, but I decided that I'm just, hold on, let me turn this TV down. But yeah, I decided that um I don't wanna do my hair today because it really don't make sense. I'm not doing nothing for real for my hair to be done. And then if I do my hair today, that just leave me like wasting a hairstyle at work all week. You know what I'm saying? When I have plans next weekend, like next weekend I have a lot of plans actually. I have dinner with my friends, my grandma's birthday, plus we're going to a concert. So I'm like, I might as well just save the week for then. Hold on, let me find this thing for the pizza. I'm starving. I haven't ate since I like very first woke up. All I ate was some grits and sausage too. I'm really proud of myself though, cause I told you I was having a problem with overeating. Like I would just be eating just because like now I don't, I don't be trying to do that. So I literally only eat when I'm hungry and I'm starving right now. And then, like, I try not to overeat, too. Because, like, whenever I make food, I would literally, just for the sake of, like, not wasting it, I'll sit there and stuff myself, even though I'm already full. So I'm I'm not doing that no more. I don't want to do that. Let's see what we're going to drink. Oh, I didn't even give y'all an update on this Trader Joe's Lemonade. It's definitely giving sweet and tart. Like, it's, like, the perfect mixture, but... 
if you don't like tart stuff, this is not for you. And I don't like tart stuff. So, I'm going to drink it only because I bought it and I'm not going to waste it. But it's not, it's not all that if you don't like tart stuff. Because it's really like one of them, it's that kind of sour. Like, I put some sugar in it though. I ain't going to lie. Because I had to get rid of some of that tartness. It wasn't doing it for me. Using my cute little glass. But what time it is? It gotta be like almost three o'clock, and I'm probably going to Bianca house. I'm gonna leave the house at like I wanna say the thing she haven't started at six. So I'm gonna leave here about five thirty-six, and then do that. Yeah, that's gonna be the vibes. I'm about to finish watching Insecure. It just got me. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. And y'all know people be like, I can't rewatch a show. I could rewatch this. I probably could rewatch this every year I, I wouldn't even mind because it's so crazy like when you be rewatching stuff you will see a lot of details that you really didn't pay attention to the first time and then like every time you watch it it gives you like different vibes like the first time i ever watched it i understood i think i told you that i understood but i don't un i didn't understand it like i do now so yeah but you know Child, I just realized I never really came back for real to let y'all know I was about to start again. Hold up. Why? Why did I do that? Why? I just be doing stuff. Anyways, I'm about to get ready to go ahead and head out to B House. Bro, this is a lie. Oh my goodness. Y'all hear that in the background, bro? I'm testing out the um. What is called a dishwasher, y'all. I'm really kind of scared. I ain't gonna care. Hopefully, it does the job. If it don't, we're gonna be back to hand washing. I don't know so far. I mean, it sounds like it's. Can y'all hear? So, yeah. Child, y'all see, I got my whole comforter on a. Well, my old comforter, because y'all know I just switched them out. But I got my comforter on a uh, sofa. I just been in here, glued to the TV, relaxing, chilling, like. I just love my living room. Like, it's such a vibe. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe. Let me show y'all. Let me get, let me get out a view. The full view. Like, isn't it just so freaking cute? I am kind of mad, though, that my uh, wallpaper keeps kind of, like, coming up. And I realized it's because I was overlapping it. So, like, in the places that it's overlapping, that's where it's coming up at. So it's like, uh, it is what it is. I'm not about to like do that again because it's it's too much for me to, to keep doing. And I ain't even finished doing my room. That little wallpaper in there gave me hell. Oh, and as y'all can see, I've been sipping on me a little Celsius because I've been in here real lazy and I was trying to find a motivation to get up and I just did not have it. So I'm like, let me go ahead and drink me a little Celsius. That way, like, I could just have a little energy about myself and I don't even be like, you know, just boring at the little function and be honest. Why am I out of breath? But I'm on the little episode of Insecure when they had went to Coachella. This is my favorite episode. This is my favorite episode. I definitely want to have like one of these kind of days with my friends. But they scary, bro. Like they don't be want to do nothing. <laughs> I be with it. Not, not nothing past, you know, that. But, you know, got to make that clear. I ain't with all the, all the extra stuff. A lot of shit I will refuse to try. Okay, let me throw my wig on, put on some sandals, and we're gonna be out the door. I guess I'm gonna bring y'all with me to B House, y'all, but it's really not gonna be nothing to see. It's literally gonna be us chilling, probably smoking a little hookah, eating because they got a whole bunch of food. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should bring Uno. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me get the card game. I'm gonna bring Uno. Oh, y'all got on my little outfit that I bought yesterday from uh, Forever 21. I'm going to have to go back and get some more of these because it's really nothing like having something that you could just throw on, but it's still cute. <sighs> okay, so I got Uno. Oh, y'all, I forgot I had bought this game. I ain't played this since I had a nigga. <laughs> we played this game so many times, though. It's so crazy because, like, the first time we ever played it, we were so shy. We wasn't really answering the questions. Then when we started getting deep, deep, we, we was getting into the questions for real. I do want to play with my friends, but there's going to be too many people over there. I'm not trying to get into all of that. So maybe I'll just bring these and these, and then we can play something. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all. Hey, hey. 
You don't be seeing people, huh? Your mama just be keeping you in the out. Oh, chow. All right, chow. We're at B's house. My girl got a whole little situation going on in the back. Okay, I can't wait till this is done so we can be out here acting a fool. All right, we waiting on everybody else to get here, child. What you grilling? Mm -hmm. this, bitch, this bitch is on the grill. Okay, all right then. Take your spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. My name is Ice, but I you know I'm a guest to the back. Don't play with my girl, book her, okay? <laughs> It's giving rich bitch at my big house. You know what I'm saying? Sipping on my simply. You need help? Wait, how many tables you got? This one. How many people from? We're about to try this. Never had this before. Look at your little cute backyard. That's what I said, girl. This is nice, bro. No. Mm, this is okay. Mm. We're back at the crib. Your girl left with a to go plate. I'm going to set this up tomorrow. Oh, it just smells so good. But I don't need to be in nothing else tonight. Because, yeah. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm actually pretty full, though, for real. Like, I'm not even hungry. So, <sighs> it smells so good in here, though, y'all. Like, my plug-in. And then, like, this dishwasher. Like, it smells good. Like, the little thing, the little pot. It got it smelling real clean in here. So, let's see how the dishwasher actually did. Like... I mean, Emmy looks clean. I mean, how do you really know? Uh, I still, I still see like some wet marks. I don't know. I mean, they look, the dishes look clean. Like they, they look clean. Um, oh, it's a whole bunch of water still in here. They look clean. I don't know. I mean, we might, we might be on to something. We might not be washing dishes no more. But wait, wasn't they supposed to dry or do I like have to do the drying part? See, I don't know how to work this. Okay, we'll figure that out another day. But anyways, though, y'all, today was a really good day. Some of my pro fights was there. Also, they bought the babies. Like, they bought all their kids and stuff. And we were just asking them real life questions. Like, girl, we like, how is life with kids? And do you want more? And Asking them, like, questions about, like, being married and just all of the things, you know. Like, we was talking about all type of stuff, y'all. Like, when we get together, we really be having real-life conversations. Like, I be trying to, like, really, like, pick people's brains, see what's going on. Like, what to expect when you get to this age and to this stage of life and all of that. Because, I mean, I know it be different for everybody because everybody's life is very different. Of course, everybody's relationships be very different. But, you know, it's like a general consensus of, like, people, marriages and having kids and stuff like that. But one thing I do know is, like, having kids is hard. Like, anybody that I've ever asked has said having kids is hard and stressful. So, I just know for me, when it comes my time, I want to be married and I need my man right there, front and center. Okay? Front and center because, oh, girl, that's, ooh, by yourself, support, like, Really, like, for real, for real, shout out to the single mothers. Like, I just know there has to be a handful and a lot of, like, sleepless nights probably. Like, that's crazy. But, anyway. Yep. Overall, good day or whatever, child. I'm supposed to be editing the reel so I can get it posted. It's already 12 o'clock. I don't even know if I should have posted it this late at this point. But then again, I really don't want to wait another day. I might go ahead and put it out. Forget it. Like, I think TikTok algorithm is always, like... It's gonna get seen regardless. It don't even matter when you post it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go to church tomorrow. I'm really thinking I'm gonna do another online service. I just felt so comfortable like watching service here, like at home. I still be singing, I still be getting up, clapping as if I'm standing in the pew and everything. So I might just like, I'm a, I think, I think I've already made the decision that I'm gonna stay home and watch church again. We was also talking about churches and um, I think it's time for me like to like branch out and try to find like other places because of course when it comes to church like it be stuff you like and then stuff you don't like so like I think like I want to try a couple more churches just to kind of like get a feel because I definitely only go to them because one of my friends go to them and I just been sticking to it I never really branched out to see like what kind of church I really want to get into so I need to do that so I'm probably gonna just start like going to different people churches so I'm gonna just tell my friends like we're inviting me one week and I'm gonna come because I really need to get 
back into the you know the routine the goal at the beginning of the year was to go once a month I think I slack what last month I think last month was the first month that I didn't go like at all at all so yeah I gotta get back into the swing of things I don't know the, the new goal might just be like go in person once but at least watch a service another weekend so that's like church at least twice you know, at least twice out the month. I feel like that's more than doable. And it's easier at home. Like, you're just comfortable and, like, you really could just, you know. So, yeah, that's the goal, whatever. I'm about to go ahead and take me a little shower. I'm about to watch Insecure till I fall asleep. And I'm going to just come back and talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, what's up, y'all? I have a legit let the whole day go by without vlogging editing doing a thing i literally been sitting on this sofa right on over there watching insecure okay i'm going opposite i'm watching insecure that's literally all i've been doing today like that's all my day has consisted of y'all i didn't even watch the sermons but i did end up asking my line sisters to send me um like their church services today and three of them sent um, me some stuff so i'm gonna watch it i don't know if i'm gonna watch it before i go to bed or if i'm gonna just watch it in the morning on my way to work I think that might be the better option. Like, just getting my day started, you know, with a good vibes. I need to figure out if I'm going to go ahead and do a weekly vlog for next week. I'm not I'm not too sure. Because I still got two vlogs to edit, child. And I ain't did net today. Not a thing. Um, I have posted some TikToks, but, you know, that don't really count if you ask me. Child. But as y'all can see, I'm over here cooking. I'm about to make me some chicken because I had a lot of chicken left, left over from when I cooked last week. And um, I'm about to make potatoes again, but not mashed potatoes. This time, I'm going to just cut them up. And then I got some green beans. I'm probably just going to put them up. Well, I'm not probably. I'm going to put them all in the pot with my chicken broth and, you know, all the other ingredients. And just kind of, like, do, like, a little crock pot situation. I don't got no crock pot. I never had one. I always do it this way. But it's like a one-pot meal, and it's so good. Like, it used to be my go-to in college. And everybody used to be like, oh, my gosh, she cooks so good. And I used to make that all the time for everybody. Little did they know, like, it was just so easy to make. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing because I definitely need to have food for um, work next week because I did a really good job at not spending no money on um, food. I didn't see it spend no money at all last week. Like, with me not having to leave work, like, in between the days or even stop in the morning, I didn't spend no money. So that's my goal again for this upcoming week. And especially because I just got like a whole bunch of other stuff coming up. And I'm trying to get a little bit better with budgeting. I'm already good, but I'm trying to get better. Like, I want to start doing even more. So, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the goal. And we just need to make some smart decisions or whatever. Oh, while I'm doing this, how y'all feel about seasoning in the sink? Because I just, um, that was on Twitter. That was literally earlier today. People were just going in, like, people be doing the most on Twitter, saying that they don't season in the sink and all that, and they really be lying. And I feel like everybody be lying, like, bro, come on. You grew up on that. Why is this so nasty now? Like, your grandma was doing that. Your mama probably was doing that before them was doing that. If your sink is clean, it ain't nothing wrong with you seasoning in the sink. Like, don't get me wrong, because y'all have seen me seasoning a bowl but I also season in the sink. Like, I don't really have a problem with either one. Like, whatever is my mood of that day, that's what I'm going to do. So, today is the sink because it is what it is. So, yeah, how y'all feel about that? And then also another thing. Cleaning y'all chicken with lemons and limes. I'm sorry. I just never saw that growing up. I never saw that growing up. And I just think that's stupid to me that's really i don't i don't know i think that's stupid to me because first and foremost when you cook meat you are killing the bacteria yeah i don't know that still don't make sense to me and i'm not about to go out of my way to do all of that because i think that's dumb but yeah i'm about to go ahead finish watching my little show child i'm re i'm on the last season y'all i'm really sad because like what the fuck and it, it's crazy because like fun fact when i was younger i used to always want her to end up with daniel and I strictly realized now, like, that was all based on looks and fun. Like, you could tell, like, you know, when you grow up, you, you, your thought process changed a little bit because now I actually want her to end up with Lawrence. But, child, if y'all, I mean, I'm, Insecure is not a, a new show, but some of y'all probably ain't never watched it, so I don't want to give away too many details. But if y'all watch Insecure, let me know because we can get it to it. We can get it to the topics on here because this one show I could talk about, but real for real. 
But yeah, let me finish cooking or start because I ain't even really get started yet. So I'm about to cook and I'm going to come back and talk to y'all on the next vlog, child. I think I might go ahead and do a week vlog. So if you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, thank y'all for supporting my videos. Comment down below. Get a video a huge thumbs up. Turn on the post bell notifications and your girls will catch y'all on the next vlogster.